days you're going to shock me and you're going to be all excited and you're going to say, Good morning! Don't hold your breath. I'm going to hold my breath till you do it and then I'm going to die and then you're going to be really sad. You'll hold your breath and then you'll pass out and then you'll start breathing again. Nope, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Boomer, you're driving me nuts today. Angel's driving me nuts today, so. So they think something's up. Well, that's because I'm packing, packing. Yeah. I am packing this box so far. Has just nothing but polar bears in it, stuffed and ornament and knickknacks. Cool, man. Now we got to get that right into the garage or uh, my friend here will dig right into it. Garage or one of the rooms upstairs. Into the attic space mm -hmm. or something. Because we got to keep the boxes that are packed and ready to move in good shape. Yep. And labeled as to what they are. And this shouldn't be too, too heavy because it's got stuffed animals as well as knickknacks. Cool. And if I can fit a few other stuffed animals, I'll throw in some of my other stuffed animals that I'm keeping. I'm going to continue in the front room, uh, tearing up carpet, P might go to Home Depot to look at um, something to use as a paver, as a uh, hearth, and uh, just do that. Just keep hacking at it. Well, there's more to do to the fireplace than just the hearth, right? Uh, yes, I have to build a mantle. And you've got to take all that stone out. The stone has to come out, which I'm not looking forward to. So you have to build basically a whole fireplace. Yes. Well, it, not all the stone is coming out, just the large stuff that is protruding. Oh, and I'll just put a, I will put a box over it. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. But the big stuff is too big. The fireplace would stick out too far if I tried to. Yeah, so you just got to chisel out the big stuff and right. then you're going to be building something over top. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Well, that's what I thought you were doing. Well, there. Okay, so I'm back in the front room, and I'm just going to keep cutting away at the carpet that's visible, and I will be moving stuff out of the way as I go. Fortunately, I don't have any place to put this stuff, so I'm just going to have to work around it as usual. So um, yeah, I'll start hacking this up and uh, I'll take a break. I will probably go to Home Depot. So I have all the carpeting up. I've got some interesting bare spots. Had no idea that there was bare spots underneath here. The tiles that are down are uh, down pretty solid. I don't have to worry about uh, dealing with them. I'm probably going to get some really cheap um, peel and press tiles to fill on the gaps. And uh, then I can put some vapor barrier down. And uh, then I can do the... Um, the flooring, but uh, before I do that, this room, I uh, would probably be a good idea to paint the room and uh, do the fireplace so nothing gets onto the floor or damages it. Well, everybody, it's come to the end of another day. I didn't say hello. <laughs> Angel's been doing something a little... I don't want to say strange or odd, but <laughs> something a little different. She belongs in this family. She's a, <laughs> she's a neighbor. I have been wearing one of my father's bathrobes. 
um, today and when I took it off it it's been washed okay but it must still have his scent on it because she's been laying on it all day long all day long and when I had it on she was like <sighs> like all over me more so than normal so but we got a lot done today Kevin pulled up a lot more carpet I pulled it all up uh, yeah that was coming up and that was tough because there was a whole living room full of furniture in there too. did you pull the stairs up not yet so the stairs is next and um I packed away all my polar bear stuff, this, my village that was out here, and all my stuffed animals and everything that was in the bedroom, and that took up one big box. I think my beard needs to be trimmed again. What do you think? I told you that the other day. It's about ready to run off. Yeah. It's got legs again. And um, I've been working on packing up some of the knickknacks on the shelf unit. Um, today and I went through some of our Christmas stuff and weeded out some stuff and kind of cutting back in some places and it's sad but we're gonna have to pack away the gathering not the gathering the gathering is gonna have to be packed away except to... for Daryl Daryl well, can stay out are you kidding yeah. he's the first to get packed cause, he is not he could be packed flat and then he could put him on the bottom of the box he is not getting packed away. <laughs> I did something funny on the screen, and I, we can't see ourselves anymore. Yeah, I hope it's recording right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, he's not getting packed away. I don't think too many people seeing a house with a cardboard Daryl Dixon, Norman Reedus would be too upset. <laughs> so, anyway. I see that. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, we're kind of at a stopping point also with the house right now. Um, well, you just said uh, it, it, I can pull up the, the stairs now. Yeah, we. I mean, w w there's some stuff we can do, but we can't do any of the major work right now. And this is mainly to our real estate agent because she watches our channel. <laughs> um, financially, we've hit a brick wall. So... And we hit it hard. And we there's some things we can do without without some finances, but uh, yeah, but uh, that's where we're sta we're standing right now. I know you asked how we're doing. Yeah, so that that mainly goes out to our our real estate agent because she watches our videos, and she wanted to know how things are going with the house. Well, that's how things are going. So anyway. We hope you liked a little bit of something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a like, a share, and or a comment. And we shall see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye.